All right, so as you can see, I put Errol Spence's name here. All right, we put his birthday and then the target date, which is what? 29 July of 2023. And he's going to fight Crawford. So we'll let that go ahead. We got it already. Okay, so look, already. Wow. Okay, good. Interesting. Wow. Wow, this is not good for Errol Spence, baby. Whoa, this is not good for Errol Spence at all. What I'm seeing here. Um, his spiritual will be at 96, okay. But I don't know how spiritual he truly is, meaning how much he'll be able to tap into it. But awareness, that's phenomenal for him, okay. His awareness will be up nearly at full peak on that date. Aesthetics, he'll be at 100% below. So that will tap into his creativity, I believe. That will tap into his vision, believe it or not. Aesthetics is the way he sees beauty or whatnot. Not necessarily beauty, but anything. Perception overall. And then intuition at 48% above, and it's rising. So uh, intuition, that's a good, that's an okay thing for him. It, it would be better if it was closer to 100, obviously. Uh, over here, passion, look at that, 43. That's not going to affect him too much at all. He's a warrior. Okay, wisdom, negative 99. This will affect him, okay? Especially if he's using the bright green new uh, mouthpiece that he got. If he's using that, watch for that. If he has that in his mouth, a bright green, neon green mouthpiece on, he's going to lose the fight. Mark my words. He will lose the fight, especially if he did it. He he only got it like not even not even two full weeks ago. Okay, and I guarantee you he didn't train with it. No one trains with their mouthpiece, and so why would he? Why, especially with the new one that's most most highly uncomfortable. Well, guess what? If he has that in his mouth and he didn't train at least, goodness, the two full weeks before this fight. If he didn't train with it inside his mouth and he has it in. When they start the fight, well, during the fight, he's going to get gassed out more than usual. And it will affect him, even though he's a monster in that sense of cardio monster, endurance monster, where he just keeps going nonstop. You can't knock him out, and he just moves, 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 right? But, I mean, look at His mastery will be at negative 43 and is going down. With the wisdom at the 100% lowest? Are you kidding me? These are not good parameters for him on that date of the fight on J july 29th 2023 tomorrow today is july 28th okay i haven't had time to do all this so check this out overall he's rated at negative 62 and that's the gray and it's going down further okay so it's on the way down meaning this line right here is the day of okay and then you cut this line in half as well and this is zero point. Above is pos uh, positive, positive one, positive two, so forth and so on. Below is negative, okay? So, um, and technically it will be positive 14 or 15 basically, and negative 14 or 15 because there's technically overall 30 days in a month, right? So 15 days positive, 15 days negative. So right now uh, the overall is on the decline. The physical, it's at 14% on the day of, meaning tomorrow, and it's technically on the decline. Okay, because remember, zero is about here. So 50 would be right here, 50%. Uh, it would be 5-0 if, if the line intersected here. But where the line intersects, so on the physical, it intersects all the way down here near to the bottom, meaning near zero point. Thankfully, it's not in the negative point like it is over here. But look what else is exactly at negative. His emotional is at negative 100. His intellectual is at negative 100. These two combined with his aesthetic, negative 100, and then his wisdom and mastery, or even passion, all these at negative. I'm telling you, if he has the green mouthpiece in, he will lose the fight. I don't think he'll get knocked out. He might get a flash knockdown, okay? He might get a flash because 
Bud Crawford is that good. He, I, I think he can actually, believe it or not, some of you might think I'm crazy saying this. Anyone else? Okay, it's different, but we know how uh, Errol Spence is, right? You guys are going to think crazy that I say this, but I believe that Terrence Crawford can actually suffocate uh, uh, um, uh, Errol Spence. I think he would have enough endurance to move, 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 not in the fashion of... Um, not to take anything away from him, but not in the fashion of Mayweather, more in the fashion of Mayweather mixed with Salvador Sanchez, mixed with uh, uh, Pacquiao, mixed with um, uh, Juan Manuel Marquez, and a little bit of, uh, uh, of Castillo, meaning the counter... I mentioned all those because they're counter-punching uh, masters. And that's what Bud Crawford is going to do, yes, Errol Spence is going to be able to counter a lot. So this is going to definitely going to be a, basically a, a counter-punching clinic. Okay? But if Errol Spence does not knock out Crawford by the seventh round, which I don't see it easily happening, but I can see it happening. Not too difficult. And uh, uh, just because that's the way Errol Spence is. But... I think uh, uh, there's nothing that's going to hold back Terrence Crawford from this. Nothing. And if it was the other way around, if uh, Errol Spence was the one with all the belts, and Errol Spence does have a belt, but I'm saying if he had all the belts like Terrence Crawford does right now, it'd be the other way around. And, but still, because of what I see here, I'm telling you, and if he has the green, the neon green mouthpiece in, I'm telling you, he Errol Spence will lose the fight big time. Now, I already did uh, Bud Crawford's. As you can see, Terrence Crawford, right here, we have his birthday. All right, and we have the target date, July 29th of 2023, as you can see right here. To, uh, today, oh, sorry, uh, today, yeah. No, that's target day, but today is, oh, sorry, uh, the day of that we're targeting, yeah, is the 27th, right? So let's see. Crawford overall he's more balanced out and that in the sense that all his negatives are not that low except for awareness that's not going to affect Crawford at all at all wisdom at negative nine and it's uh the purple and it's at a decline but negative nine that's not going to affect him at all uh, he as the great um oh man how did I forget his name Ah, it's a simple one too. You guys are gonna kill me when when I say the name. Ah, I almost Teddy Atlas. Teddy, it, 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 it's, some of you are still like, how can you forget it for that long? Anyhow, you're freaking casual if you forgot. <laughs> sorry, guys. Um, anyhow, so uh, I'm not sorry, but I'm saying you know, I apologize for taking so long with that. But as Teddy Atlas says, the great Teddy Atlas, the great trainer, trained. Uh, Mike Tyson, he has the great an, uh, analysis, right? Even he says he, ha he ha that Terrence Crawford has one of the highest intuitions. That's a huge thing for him to say about Bud, Bud Crawford. It takes a lot for, the, for him, for, for uh, a Teddy Atlas to say that, especially about a fighter, that he's the most intuitive of all he's seen, possibly in history. That's what Teddy Atlas has said. So with that in mind, I don't think wisdom, this law of wisdom will affect him at all. Not much at all, because he's so instinctual. That's what I meant to say, yeah. He's so instinctive and intuitive, technically. But the point is mastery. Let's see, mastery is negative 17, but is in a slight rise. It's going up. Um, that's not going to affect, come on now, Bud Crawford, that's not going to affect his mastery much. Passion. It's actually on the rise, but it's only at 35, but that that's actually okay for Bud Crawford. That's a good. So in this section, uh, Bud Crawford already way overbeat. Look at all these. All negatives. And all of them will affect Errol Spence negatively, big time. The few negatives won't affect nothing negative to Bud Crawford. And the few positives that are somewhat short will help him big time. Added that much passion and it's on a rise, technically, so it's not going to decline. As the minutes go on, the passion is going to be going higher. It's only going to go up to 36%, if that, by the end of the fight, if anything. But the point is, on the second bracket, this is the primary, okay? Overall, at 
compared to negative 62? Are you kidding me? On a championship fight? Look, if Bud Crawford was stupid or egotistical in the wrong way, because you can be egotistical and be kind of balanced where it's not negative. It doesn't affect people negatively. It doesn't get people's nerves, even though you kind of do have a slight bit of egotism like Bud Crawford does. But what I was going to say is... um. Uh, 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 the ego, uh, I messed up, what was I going to say, goodness, I lost it, but overall three, compared to overall 62, if it was the other way around, I forgot what I was going to say, but anyhow, the point is, is, um, if it was the other way around, goodness, I missed it, it was going to be a good point, anyways, um, so, we're going to already tell, I'm going to skip a little bit on the top, that Bud Crawford already has a big upper hand. Because look at even intellectual, he's only at negative 62. And intellectual is on the on the decline. So as he goes on, it's going to go short, but not by much. And intellectual going down at this, uh, for, for Bud Crawford, is not going to affect him too much. Not too much at all. Compared to negative 99 and it's on the decline, that's going to affect Errol Spence a lot. Okay, and then the emotional at negative 100, I think the physical is exactly the same. No, okay. See, physical, Bud Crawford, oh, that's what I was going to say. So, Bud Crawford has 27%. So, what I was going to say is, Bud Crawford is not stupid. If he was, and if, if Bud Crawford was egotistical in a negative way, Bud Crawford would probably try to prove a point, right? And try to really fuck up Errol Spence, right? So, what does that mean? He'll be pressing him, pressing him, pressing him. But... Errol Spence is too powerful, especially from his lower waist. So he has very thick uh, glutes and thighs. So he, he his lactic acid down there will be able to overcome Terrence Crawford. Now, like I said, if Terrence Crawford was dumb and he would press on Terrell, uh, uh, an Errol Spence, Errol, Errol Spence will build up that lactic acid in Terrence Crawford from pushing him back like a ram, fighting him, countering him, and all that. But again... Trench Crawford will be pushing forward too much. What? Exhausting himself, building up the lactic acid in his legs, and then he would lose for sure. But that's not going to happen. Terrence Crawford, he's not even going to box, even though he's going to box beautifully. But what I mean by that, that he's not even going to box, is that he's not even going to worry about what do I do? What was I training for in camp? When, when do I do my 1-2? When do I do my 3-4 uppercut left hook? He's not going to worry about that because he's so instinctual, just like Teddy Atlas said. He really is. So, it won't affect him much. And and uh, 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 he won't, he's not going to lose the fight, uh, Errol Spence. Uh, sorry, uh, uh, um, Terrence Crawford. So, on the emotional, is that positive 43? And remember, we have negative 100 on Errol Spence. And then the physical, negative 62 compared to 100. And again, the so everything is bad for Errol Spence. Now, in the second bracket, lastly, the spiritual, okay, I don't think this will affect much Errol, uh, Terrence Crawford. This is Terrence Crawford's side, okay? Um, as you can see, Terrence right there. Um, I don't think being negative... And it's on the rise anyhow, but still, be negative. This won't affect much to uh, uh, Errol Spence. Uh, sorry, to Terrence Crawford. Awareness, negative 87 uh, per, compared to 90, 92. Okay, yeah, that's the only thing. The spiritual won't really help. Errol, so this is Errol Spence's. Okay, Errol Spence. The spiritual, even though it's high, it won't, it won't do much at all. Not to take anything away from Errol Spence, but... Because he's so brute force, so such a warrior. And I'm not saying that warriors are not spiritual, but the spiritual energy really won't do much for Errol Spence. Again, because he's such a, not necessarily a robot, but he's such brute, like, warrior. Yeah, Errol Spence, I mean, uh, Serenix Humphrey is a warrior as well, but he's a different type of warrior. He's not a brute, freaking bat around forward, you know, linebacker type of, that's what, Errol Spence, he's more like a linebacker. Um, uh, uh, Terrence Crawford is more like the quarterback. 
more like a receiver and even sometimes the tight uh, not the tight end uh, the um not the fullback but the running back he can be a running back he, i don't i'm not saying he's the size of one but he can play one if they were if he was if we were in a team in a sense uh Ter- uh, 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 uh Errol Spence, yeah he can go from receiver to a tight end to uh all these other positions but he would just stick with linebackers just pummeling Everything from the line to the quarterback to everyone running. <laughs> That's, that, that would be ter- Right? Wouldn't that be Errol Spence? But anyhow, nothing is, as cor- according to the biorhythms, nothing is truly helping other than the awareness. That's it. Nothing else is helping Errol Spence. Out of all the different brackets, categories, uh, um, or parameters involved in biorhythms of that day. And uh, trust me, they have a huge effect. You'll see. You'll see that, yes, we know we know Errol Spence. And you, you'll see that he's going to get, if he doesn't get knocked out by Terrence Crawford, he's going to get close to being knocked out by the 11th. Mark my words. He might not go down. He might actually get a standing A count if if it's allowed. Sometimes the standing A count is not allowed, but he might might have to might actually have to take a knee or something to where uh, because he's gonna get that rocked from equilibrium. Not necessarily because he's gonna get punched hard, but we do know that Errol, uh, sorry, that Terrence Crawford knows how to punch hard and he can not punch hard. But it's more of the timing and all this other stuff of again. Errol Spence being, in a sense, drowned out. Believe it or not, the big fish is going to get drowned out. You'll see. Because of this. If it wasn't for this, this is so negative on his side. If it wasn't for this, yeah, uh, it would be a ridiculously close fight. Mark my words, it's not going to be a ridiculously close fight. It won't be. Either Terrence Crawford is going to get knocked out by the 4th or 7th, the latest, and maybe even get knocked down by the fourth and if he doesn't get knocked down by the seventh he won't get knocked no won't get come close to getting knocked down at all period you'll see but for the rest of the fight if Terrence Crawford doesn't get knocked down but you'll see that Terrence Crawford might land a flash knockdown where because of his timing the way he steps in sometimes where he catches Errol Spence off balance. Remember, you just got to mass your energy, your force into the center of gravity of your opponent. And you'll disrupt their center of gravity and they won't be able to defend themselves. They will have to catch themselves from their off balance position, right? When you disrupt one leg or the other or both by batter ramming in, by doing a tr- what I call a a, uh, a a Spartan shove, where you come in like if you have a shield with your lead hand, boom, and you kind of hit him with your shoulder, almost forearm, okay. So, but you you penetrate their center of gravity, and then you can come back out with a left check hook or a right uppercut if you're an orthodox fighter, like most of Spen- uh, er- uh, Crawford will be. All right, and yes, he will switch off left and right a lot. The best shot that Errol, uh, Errol Spence will have is his uppercut. You'll see that he'll land it a lot and, and will rock. Um, he might hurt, but I don't think he's gonna. You'll see it's gonna it's gonna be shocking that because of these readings, Crawford might have almost superhuman strength compared to Errol Spence. And because Errol Spence has been in that car accident, I'm telling you, after this Trinity, uh, sorry, not Trinity, but uh, Trilogy, he might actually uh, um, uh, retire. And there might there might just be, uh, well, it wouldn't be a Trilogy, right, if there's a skip, meaning that they go one, then rematch, and then... For some reason, they both fight someone else and then they come back for a third fight. I don't think that's, ter- even though technically it is a trilogy, but I think they have to be back to back to back, right? But either way, that may happen. If that happens, cool. But once they fight the third fight, mark my words, 
Errol Spence will have to retire. And it's not because he has no fight left in him. It's because of that car accident. Look, it doesn't matter that he came out walking. He got flipped around to where he his feet were above his head maybe three to four times. Even though he was in the car probably twice of those times and the other two times where he was out of the car. But the point is, is his brain t tumbled. And there's no way you cannot deny that it did not tumble at a high rate of speed. By you losing your balance and then falling off your skateboard, no matter what age you are, no matter what age you are, even a young, strong brain, no matter how old you are, if you slip and fall from your skateboard, that is TBI. That is a mild form of traumatic brain injury, technically, literally. Okay, literally, it doesn't mean anyone that has fallen that they, they got to suffer from TBI, traumatic brain injury. No, it's just it is a form, a, to a degree, TBI. Many falls, yeah, it's going to be TBI. What do you think happened to Junior Seau and many other athletes who took many impacts? Hockey players take many impacts. Some of them commit suicide, and most don't know it, but it truly is connected to nothing more than the chemicals involved in the in the uh, a prescription, the, the painkillers, so forth and so on, that are prescribed to them. And then not only that, but because of the pain that it causes, not the prescription, but the TBI, traumatic brain injury, all that pressure being built up in the brain and elsewhere. And because of it, some people suicide because of that. So, I'm telling you, He's not going to feel like, man, I, there's no way I can go any further. No, he's gonna, there's going to be things that only he's going to know, that only he's going to realize. Like, for instance, vertigo. That's going to happen often. He's going to feel like drunk and then, what the fuck? And he's going to brace himself for like six seconds or less. But he's going to be like, no, I'm not tripping. I could have swore I almost, maybe there was an earthquake. And sometimes if you trust a person, you might ask the person, did you feel that? Did, was there an earthquake? He's like, but no, we're in Texas. There shouldn't be much of an earthquake here. I'm telling you. And this is going to happen over and over and over in a span of about three years or so. And eventually he's going to be like, you know what? I, I, there's no way I should be risking taking any more blows, any more hits to my head. Even though I'm winning, 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 I should not take a hit to my head anymore. I can feel it. Something's wrong. And you'll see that he's going to retire after this trilogy. Again, there might be... More than three fights for Errol Spence. But after the third fight with, because there will be. It, the, boxing needs it. It's great. The money everywhere is going gonna, gonna to be great for everyone. So trust me, it's going to happen. So once Errol Spence fights the third fight against Terrence Crawford, no matter when it is, whether it's one year, one year, one year, on the third year, or if it's six years from now, when the third fight comes, Errol Spence will retire. Okay, to keep his body safe because he cares about himself and he cares about his family. And everybody will know, huh? Everybody will congratulate him and clap him. They're like, yeah, we can tell you're, you're not being a bitch. You're, you're fucking, you're doing what is right for yourself. Look after your health and what is right for your family. Congratulations, young man, for taking, for wise young man, for taking such a great, at, at such a young age, even though you could keep going and risk your 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 family's health because it's your health your health is your family's health as well and risk losing all kinds of money that you could have won from winning all those fights that you know you could win for the most part because the only person Errol Spence will lose not might will lose will be to Terence Crawford how many at least one at least one maybe two why do I say at least one because this is going to be a technical war in a sense a boxing war a counter punching war which means what any any culture throughout history has recorded that the first casualty of war is always what the truth so mark my words Terence Crawford will raise his hand on July 29th as the victor that's who I'm choosing. This is nine knuckle, striking, conditioning, and strategy walkthrough for the next big major fight that will be talked about for a whole decade. You'll see. 
This is going to be a phenomenal freaking fight. Similar to Hagler versus, uh, 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 oh goodness, how did I forget the name? Ah. Well, I'll change it a little bit for a second. Like Mickey Ward against uh, Arturo Gatti. That trilogy, goodness. Uh, Manny Pacquiao versus uh, 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 Juan Marquez. And then Haggard. Versus... Uh, uh, Oh, goodness, I forgot their names. How did I forget their names? Goodness. So here's the last thing I'm going to close off with. This is why I know uh, Errol Spence is going to retire after the third fight versus uh, Terrence Crawford. And you can almost hear it. Uh, I'm not going to I'm not going to uh, uh, um, edit this. I'm going to show it to you so you can see how I'm almost stuttering. But I'm not stuttering, thankfully. Thank God I don't have a stutter. But I'm pausing and it almost sounds like a stutter because I'm like, God, I, I, I can't really get the word sometimes. So I have traumatic brain injury from being blown up in Iraq more than two times. But two times it was really bad to where a suicide bomber inside a vehicle blow, blew us up. The vehicle I was driving at the time. The third suicide Bomber, those were a month apart from each other. The other one was a little less than a month. Uh, actually, it, it might have been a little over a, a month, but it was just about a month from the second one. But that third one hit the vehicle in front of me. Thankfully, it didn't hit mine. Who knows what would have happened after the third one, because third time's a charm, right? But anyhow, and there was many other ones, like roadside bombs, that, yeah, damaged our vehicle, but didn't damage any of us inside of our striker. AKA, this is why my AKA is striker. Because I like to strike a lot, but also I was one with the striker when I was in Iraq. Over 550 combat missions in nearly 16 months. With only a little over two weeks of a break. That's it. And the, and the infamous recon platoon that I was a part of. That is now literally obsolete. They deleted us for some reason. Even though we are very, very successful. Didn't lose a single man. Even though we went through so much combat. It was insane, man. But anyhow, that's that. This is why I know that even though you should see me. When you see me, you'll be like, wait, what, why, would, why would you give up? And when I tell you that I didn't give up and I explain to you, you'll be like, oh, well, I see why you decided not to. It's not that you gave up. Yeah, I, I didn't give up. I care about myself and my community and all that. And I don't want my community to have to take care of some young vegetable if you may so i kind of backed away from the fight even though i still train heavily like i didn't back away when you see my body you're like wait what the and you're nearly 100 percent disabled yeah i'm always in pain extreme pain for over 15 years almost 20 years now because of my military experience because of my war experiences but this goes to show, I'm letting you know that even though he's going to look okay, very few of you would be like, why, why would he do that? He looks fine, this and that. But it's inside, guys. Only he's going to know. And he's going to say, you know what, I'm ready to retire after this third fight. It's phenomenal. I already had so many fights. I lost one, at least one. He's going to lose one. I'm telling you, this first one, he's going to lose it. Errol Spence will lose this first fight. But he will win the second one. He may win the third one. But for sure, after the third one, he will retire. Mark my words. Terrence Crawford will walk out a victor on July 29th, 2023. Peace may be with you at all times. My name is Jesus Medzaya Medina, the creator of Nine Knuckle Striking Conditioning. And my AKA is Striker when it comes to the fight game. Who knows? I may come back for the bare knuckle strike for the bare knuckle fighting because trust me, I'm a master at that. I'm a master at that. And you'll see a lot of your favorite fighters, not just boxers or bare knuckleists, but even MMA stars, some of them are transitioning over to bare knuckle fighting, right? It's a good I think it's a good transition. But your legends that you look up to will be Buying my books, my training manuals, you'll see. 
when it comes to bare knuckle fighting. You'll see, it'll be like no other. And it'll be the best one out there. Mark my words, I, it's, it's a life's work. I kid you not. Started street fighting since the age of 11. I broke my, my uh, had a boxer's fracture from the age of 12. After that, I realized how to condition my bones so I never break them and I never did again. At least not my, my knuckles. <laughs> I broke other bones. But anyhow, that's that. Peace may be with you at all times. You'll see. Mark my words. You'll know my name. Jesus Nezaya Medina, a.k.a. Striker. Peace may be with you at all times. A veteran from a recon platoon. You'll see. Mark my words. You'll know my name. Peace.